I'm Eliana Quintero from Studio D. In the next few weeks, you'll be hearing from me in my segment, Raising the Purple Flag. The purpose of this segment is to close the divide between Republicans and Democrats. When you think of purple, you may think of the combination of blue and red. So we want to find a middle ground for Republicans and Democrats. We want to raise the purple flag. In this segment, you will receive unbiased information and facts weekly. I hope you listen to my segment in the next couple of weeks and that you receive helpful information. So thank you for listening and see you next week. Um, for this upcoming season, there's a lot of great things going well. Um, first part is that numbers are still high. You know, with everything going on, we expected to drop off, but you know, kids and you know, depending on the choice of their family, what they want to make what's best for them, they're still coming out, they're still being active, and they're still trying to learn the great game of football. So I think that's the best thing that's going so far. Plus offensively, I mean, shout out to my boy Chapel right here. All right, my power back right here. I mean, eighth grade offense, they're steaming along, seventh grade offense, they're learning, but they're they're catching on pretty quick. So I'm very impressed on the offensive side. Can you tell us a little bit about what's been happening this season, what you guys are doing? So the girls have been working real hard all summer. They've been practicing to get ready for football season. And we are also starting something new this year, which is competition cheerleading, which they have been working really, really hard. We've been working at Culprit, which is a local gym here in Dalton. And we've also been working here at the school a couple times a week to start getting ready for the season. All right, what are your hopes for this upcoming season? Um, I really hope, I feel like the biggest hope for us so far is actually being able to showcase what we've been able to do. So hopefully we actually get to do some football games where they can do their sidelines and their halftime performances. And we're really excited about the competition piece of it. They've been working really hard. So um, not even just getting to do the competitions, but I hope that we can win. Obviously I hope we win some trophies because I like shiny things. So that, that's my, and I want them to just have fun, especially because this year is gonna be so crazy. With everything else, I want them to have like one little thing that they can be happy about and use to be a good thing in their lives for a while. So. Hello and welcome to the first segment of DMS Jokes One. I'm Jack. I have no idea who I am. That's Ellis. And today we're asking Coach Max some questions, but with a twist. <laughs> All right. First question: In Minnesota, is it a, what animal is it illegal to tease? A gopher. Incorrect. The correct yeah. answer was skunk. Interesting. All right. You say the price of my love's not a price that you're willing to pay. You cry in your tea, which you hurl in the sea when you see me go by. Why so sad? Remember we made an arrangement when you went away. Now you're making me mad. Remember, despite our estrangement, I'm your man. 